Okay, hi, Chris with Wannabe Honey Farms. It has been an exciting day. Um, I'm going to kind of put these videos out in reverse order. I had my mentor over today and we went through all three highs very thoroughly. And in the process, we harvested four medium frames. And I wish you could feel these. These are just heavy. These are just heavy, just brimming with honey top to bottom. Um, we got some tools we're going to use. Uh, this is a spinner, centrifugal force machine that's going to force the honey out. I've got a bucket here with a honey gate on the bottom. I've got a double filtration we're going to use to put the honey through. Uh, this one's pretty fine. This one is finer. And we're going to put those together and run them through the bucket. We're going to use these two tools here to take the cappings off the honey. And for you non-honeybee people, you're going to be amazed, I think, well, maybe not, but I'll be amazed at how much honey comes out of four of these frames. So with that being said, um, let's get started. Okay, I don't know if there's a good way to do this or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just shaving off the honey cappings. And this tool is so fantastic. It just takes the, the cappings right off the honey. Go on, Barry. Yeah, the dogs are wanting some of this. Okay, that's one side. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the spinner. Okay, so these go in here now, and I'm trying to balance these out as best I can. And we're going to let those drip. I'm going to put the covers on. Go on, dogs. And then we're going to just spin this and spin the honey out. Oops. All right, that's one side. And you can see how all the all the honey's been drawn out of there. That's a clean comb right there. So now I'm going to spin them around and do the other side. Yeah. 
Yeah, boy, I can just see it splattering all over the inside of this. Yep, these are all spun clean, no honey left in them. Okay, I'm gonna come over here, start the process again. Yeah, these dark splotches you see inside, uh, that's just pollen. Part of the honey making process. Bees are going to do what bees are going to do. Uh, some people use a hot electric knife to do this. I actually saw this tool advertised on Facebook. And it just looked really like a really clean, simple job. My hands are just a mess right now, so I'm going to rinse them off real quick. Spin these out. Yep, completely cleaned out of all honey, just a little bit of pollen specks left. Unfortunately, as a first year beekeeper, this is probably gonna be the extent of my harvest this year. Uh, there'll be a couple quarts in here. I'm not even gonna cover it up. You know what, I'm going to spin this a little bit more. Yeah, I think there's more honey to be had. Okay, you look at this and you might think, oh man, those frames are wrecked. Actually, I could put these back in the hives and it would take the bees 
just within a day they'd have it looking like brand new comb again. Okay. Okay, from these wax cappings, what uh, I plan to do when I get enough of it, I've got a bucket outside that I've been collecting uh, wax in and I'll make some candles with it. Beeswax candles, but first we're gonna try to get as much honey out of these wax cappings as we can. Uh. Honey is so messy to work with. getting the cappings down in there. Right. Ah. Well, I guess that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape as much off this me uh, of this off of me as I can and I'm just going to let it naturally drain down through the sieves into the bucket. I got a little bit of wax that got through. Okay, so here's where we are. Shirley, come here. That's all my wax cappings. You can see it's dripping and settling down into the bottom of the bucket. Um, same thing goes with this. Uh, hold on just a minute. Hon. Okay, you can see all the wax is running down the sides. I'm going to let that settle at the bottom and then down here you got a honey gate. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to drain it into the bucket through these sieves. But for the time being, I'm just going to put it in a warmer place and I'm going to let it all settle to the bottom. But yeah, we're looking at uh, two or three quarts uh, so far. Anyway, I'll come back to you when that's done and we'll continue this process. Okay, so I've had this and this. I just took the wax out and I rinsed it off in my hand and I made a wax ball over there. Um, now this has been sitting in a room with heat on it and I'm going to drip it into this bucket. And if you think I know what I'm doing, you would be mistaken. This is the first time I'm trying this, so it's all a mystery to me. I don't think the wax is up to the honey gate, so we're going to tip it. And it should come down. And flow into the filter. liquid gold.
Okay, so we've got everything condensed down to the bucket now. That's the last of it on top. Draining down into the bucket. As you can see, we got nothing but drippy rain coming down from the bottom. Beautiful. So as long as it takes this to flow through both filters, let it sit overnight. And hopefully when we get up in the morning, that'll all be settled down and we'll have nothing uh, but wax up on top. And we probably got enough to make a... With this and what we'll harvest out of that, we'll probably got enough for a candle. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Anyway, you guys have watched me doing this. There's got to be an easier way to do it. If you guys know what it is, be sure and let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like it. All right, this is the end result. We got the honey all filtered. It's uh, coming out and uh, end result, success. Um, looks like I'll probably get about four or five of these jars out of four medium frames of honey. So it was a good mini harvest for this year. That's all I expect to take this year. But for a first year harvesting any honey was just a bonus and a big surprise. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye.